Hey everyone, my name is Yogesh. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a new topic that is how much coding is required for placement. So before moving on topic, I would like to tell you one more topic that is why do companies take coding interviews for hiring? Okay. So yeah, for this, I would like to say that companies do coding interviews for hiring because they want a candidate who has a good mindset, has a good problem solving skills so that if any task is given to them in a company, they can easily do that or solve that with an efficient approach or efficient way. Okay. So for that reason, companies like do the coding challenges for hiring. Now I will say like how much coding is required for placement. So this topic I have divided in three sub points that is first for service based company, second for product Based company and third for the startup. So for the first sub point is how much coding is required for service based company. As we all know that service based company like offer less CTC as compared to the product based company. Okay. So for that reason, they only like ask the basic knowledge of the programming like array, string, searching, sorting, uh, stack, queue and linked list and all. So basic, basic programming uh, questions they ask in the interviews. They also focus on other areas like aptitude questions, group discussion. So they uh, focus on all the areas like pr problem solving that is for coding, uh, aptitude and group discussion. For that reason, they just ask only basic programming questions. Okay. Now let's come to the second sub point that is how much coding is required for product based company. So as we all know that companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they offer higher packages like 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs CTC they, they offers. Okay. So they expect from the candidate that they are a good candidate, they have a good mindset, they have a good problem solving skill. So for that reason, they, uh, they ask the intermediate level of programming. So for example, they ask intermediate level of questions like recursion, backtracking, tree, binary tree, heap, hashing, graphs and topics like dynamic programming. Okay. So they ask these levels of programming questions so that they can just uh, filter out the good candidates which have a good problem solving skills. Let's come to the third sub point it is how much coding is required for startup. So as you all know that startups are more focused on the development areas. So whenever there is any uh, interviews for the startups, so basically they focus on the opening which is there. Okay. So for example, if the opening is for the react developer role, so they, they mainly focus on the uh, questions from the react. Okay. If there's an opening for Java developer, so they will more focus on the Java development part. Okay. So yeah, for that reason, they ask more on the development areas. Okay. And we have more startups who focuses on DSA also. Like for example, if, so if a startup is conducting three rounds, so there uh, in the first round, they will ask DSA and two rounds will be of development part. And so for that reason, if they're uh, focusing on both areas, DSA and development, so here also they focuses uh, from basic to intermediate level like array, st uh, string, linked list, stack, queues, and some companies they also ask dynamic programming also. Okay. So yeah, this much of coding is required for startup. Okay. So one last point is, are we going to use DSA after placement? So my answer will be yes, we will be using DSA after placement in the work in the company. Okay. So for example, in the data structure, we will be using array list, uh, then hash maps, sets. So these data structure will be using commonly in our works and in the algorithm like basically algorithm is what the steps uh, we use to solve any problem. Okay. So we will be getting some problems in our company in which we have to solve. So if our algorithm skill is better, so we can easily solve them there. Okay. So yeah, we will be using DSA in our, if you have watched the video till here and have got some knowledge. So please like this video. You can also comment down below. So we will meet in a fresh video till then. Bye-bye.